Ladies and gentlemen, you want to place an object or an image in perspective in Adobe Photoshop, you're in the right place. There's a few ways of doing so, but I'm going to show you by far the easiest. So let's check it out. So we've got this photo frame and we'd like to put it in this room. Let's go ahead and make sure that we can't see the photo frame and let's select the background on the bottom right hand side. We're going to go up to the menu into filters and we're going to look for vanishing point. So making sure that we have the create plane tool selected, we're going to go ahead and we are going to start looking for the perspective lines within the main image. So as you can see over here on the right hand side of this image, you're going to click down and you're going to take your mouse over to the following point and you're going to follow the lines of the perspective as such. You're going to now go down and select another point. And we're going to go ahead and select our final point over here. Now you can see, of course, that this is not a square, just as our photo frame is. And this is exactly what we need. Now, once you have connected your last point, you are going to see a grid that appears. And from here, you are going to put your image inside of this grid. Let's go ahead to the top right hand side and click on OK. From here, we're going to make our layer visible. So we're going to just click the eyeball icon here and we are going to hold in control on our keyboard. We are going to select this image to put it into our clipboard. And then we are going to use control and tap on C on our keyboard. Let's make sure that the visibility is off again and we're going to select our background. And from here, we're going to go down to the bottom and we'll now add a new layer. Now make sure that this layer is in the center of both of your existing layers. We're going to go back up to filter on the top of our page again, and we're going to look for vanishing point. From here, you're going to go ahead and use your keyboard again. We're going to use control V to paste our image inside here. Now you can see as it stands, it's still in its original form. It has not been yet put into perspective of this room. Let's go ahead and select the transform tool on the left hand side and this will just allow us to resize this image so that it can fit into our existing image of our room. Now the moment you click down and you hold onto this photo frame and you move it around, you'll see now that it is now moving and changing perspective according to the grid lines that we created earlier on. Now you can place this wherever you need to place it in your image and make sure that it looks good. You can also resize it. And once you're done, you're going to go ahead and click on OK on the top right hand side of your screen.